Hello, you all. Sound Swirl by Carrie Hoyne is such a beautiful filler tangle, and it's amazing. Whenever I see it, I have to think of my American friend, Roberta Strickland. She's a CZT too, and this is one of her favorite tangles. So this reel is dedicated to you, Roberta. I'm thinking of you. <laughs> and what we do here with our pen is that we draw a mirrored nine. What we do is that we're going to aura this line and do the same step over and over again by adding as many auras as we want to. By drawing an aura, you're trying to have the same distance to your previous line continuously. And from here, you just start wherever you want to. You take off, go with your same first stroke off, which is the merit nine, and you're adding auras. And as I mentioned before, that your auras should be or should have the same width, you can, of course, start playing with it, maybe even with your line weight. And from here, just go ahead, start playing, and see what I do. I'm mirroring it. So I start with the number nine, and from here, I'm just adding all of us. What do you think will happen if you start playing with the width of an aura? Or with the line weight or adding less or even more auras everything is up to you every step out is like the ingredient of a recipe or the basic ingredients but what else you want to add or you would like to add Everything else is up to you. So feel free to play around. Here I'm drawing behind in the holly ball technique. And I just continue to fill the space I'm drawing in. You can go small, you can go big. Just don't think, let it happen and enjoy the process. This is the beautiful part of Zentangle, that every outcome is going to be different because we're not paying attention to the outcome. Each stroke is our focus. I'm going to add another one down here because I just feel like it. Draw a picture with your sand swirls when they're all facing the same direction or when you're alternating them, the direction, or what do you think you could do how could you embellish this? Do you need to? Would you like to add some more lines in here? Add some orbs? That's up to you. I'm going to leave this the way it is because I think that's perfect for now. Starting to shade. Turning my tile. I go round. So that my hand wrist my shoulders are in the same position. And everything that lies behind, like these sand swirls here, can have some graphite, which is very helpful to create depth and dimension. 
with your tortillon. You're inviting the graphite into the paper. Look at this. Do you like it? Would you like to highlight? If so, go ahead and with a pretty high angle, I'm going to invite the pigments into my paper. to shade something this is what ha can happen too so always go back to your graphite pencil blend it in and then with your white tortillon you're going to invite the pigments into the paper and the excess material which is left over you just blow it away oh i'm sorry for this <laughs> and now just go ahead Get your pen, place your top, appreciate and enjoy. See you next time. Bye-bye.